it's Mrs. Reed. I hope you had a great day and enjoyed the sunshine outside. Tonight, Ellie picked out the story and she picked out Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. He's the same author and illustrator that wrote Snowy Day, the one that we have already read. So this is another book by him. So Ellie picked it out because it has a dog in it. So she's excited to hear this story, aren't you, Ellie? Mm -hmm. Okay, a whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. So there's Peter again. He is the character in this story as well. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. So Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around, and around. He whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Oh no, Peter made himself dizzy. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton laying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled? Peter thought, while Willie would stop and look around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but he still couldn't. So Willie just kept walking. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long line. Hmm, think back to the snowy day. When did, what did he use to make a line in the last story? A stick. Good job. Right up to his door, he stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. He was like. <sighs> when Peter saw his mother, or when his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him, said Peter. First, he walked along the crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was and who did he see but Willie. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew and suddenly came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. Where's Peter? Yep, under the box. It's me! Peter shouted and stood up while Willie ran straight right towards him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling and so did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there. He whistled all the way home. The end.
I hope you enjoyed a whistle for Willie. Can you whistle? It took Mrs. Reed a long time to practice to learn how to whistle. I finally got it. My trick is, look your lips. Put your lips together like this. Suck in some air and blow. There you go. Practice, and if you learn how to whistle or know how to whistle, let me know. Give me a thumbs up that you can whistle just like Willie, or just like Peter to Willie. So I hope you enjoyed our story and you enjoyed Peter learning how to whistle. I will talk to you guys tomorrow where I have a fun Mother's Day story for this weekend. Bye friends.